Hey there, welcome to the program. This is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. That's the big website. Everybody goes to it, ourhealthyhomes.com, or or they call 651-775-9194, 651-775-9194. That's the hotline. That's the health and wellness hotline. Give it a ring-a-ling-a-ling. Sheila will answer that phone and give you uh, point you in the right direction get you started on your journey you know what we're getting people started on now it's the first of the year everybody's on the weight loss kick you know everyone's on the trimming down got to get it looking good uh some posts coming up now with the health clubs the pictures of the health clubs they're empty Everybody's already checked out. They made, they made it. Day is it? It's they only made January it a week. It's a 24th. 24th. They made it a week. Or they made it a month. Anyhow. But you've got one. A couple of programs, actually. Just talk about one, the Muffin Top Meltdown, because that's the one I'm all excited to see some results in, the Muffin Top <laughs> Meltdown. <laughs> yes. Um, the mu- I, I am so happy that we that I we put this program together. I, you, whatever, doesn't matter if we work together. Uh it's so rewarding to be able to help somebody just like it is when we do with with real estate right it's so rewarding to help somebody um you know just get started right get started in the right direction get some movement going with the the muffin top i mean i assuming everybody knows what that is that's the tire around the belly and and the question i get all of the time what's the what's the question i get all the time how old are you how long (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, well, that too, because I do get that all the time too. Um, how long is this going to take? Yeah. Right? And, okay, you you didn't do this to yourself in a day, mm-hmm. right? And and the deeper health issues you have, the more time it's going to take. Right. So it's up to each individual. That's why, you know, having me to have um, your cheerleader is, is critical because – what did you just say? They went to the ju- the club starting yep. January 1st, and now they're already they bailed checked out. out. Didn't right? work. It didn't work, right? <laughs> they didn't have accountability. They didn't have the cheerleader. And they really, truly, you know, maybe just, I don't know. I don't know why they, why they quit going. But the point is, is that I was there, right? And I want to help you get rid of that muffin top because you don't need to have it. Okay, what do I get all the time besides how old I am? I don't <laughs> no, know. I get all the time. They can't believe I'm going to be 60. Okay. But what what people assume is because I'm so small that, that I never had the issue, right? I had the issue. And I always say, God bless you for marrying or loving me at 180 pounds. And it was a struggle for me. And Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if I would have had what I have mm-hmm. for myself back then, wow, it wouldn't have been so painful, so long. Um, and I would have just appreciated having somebody in my corner that could guide me and tell me what to do, when to do it. And I think that's where people are at now. Okay. So I just want to add, I'm not, it's not like I'm Charles Atlas or anything. Okay. Uh, but you know, we go to, uh, the, the coffee shop Careful. and we're sitting, <laughs> and we're sitting there and, and, uh, people come in and they are these big fat cows. I, I just got to say it. Monstrous people, huge and and they waddle up to the counter and they get their milkshake, you know, basically, you know, iced coffee blended something something, you know, with twelve hundred calories in it. And then they waddle over to the bagel shop and get themselves a big old bagel, you know, with a bunch of cream cheese on it and whatever it is. Most highest and, glycemic food you can have. Yeah, about the worst <laughs> thing you can possibly eat. And then, and then they can't understand why they gain weight. I mean, it's just unbelievable to me. I think that there's just been such an acceptance of people that over the years that we're just getting larger and larger and larger and that it's okay. But it, it's, hey, if you're okay in, in yourself that way, that's great. But we look at the health concerns mm-hmm. of what that's going to do to you later on. So, well, and you can't... I. I do not believe that they feel good. I mean, you'll never make me believe. I just don't believe it. You can't feel good when you're that heavy, huffing and puffing. Uh, I mean, I just, just getting I, in and I out just of don't the believe car. It. When, right? I, when I decided to do our senior moment, I'm getting up on a rabbit hole here. Sorry, <laughs> and um, Amy, I, I just uh, I, sometimes I go down a rabbit hole. But so this is a rabbit hole. I'm going to do it. All right. So you know, a couple of years ago, I, I uh, we were out on a listing appointment. 
in Apple Valley, a two-story. And we're going up and down the steps from, you know, flight to flight. We went from the basement up to the second floor. And then we're going to go back down and sit at the kitchen table and just kind of talk about it. I was so out of breath from going up and down the steps in this two-story from the basement up to the second floor back down to the main floor. We got out in the car and I, and I told Sheila, I said, I am a big fat cow. I mean, I got to do something here because this is just, I, I feel miserable. We don't have any stairs in our house. <laughs> and so uh, we do, it just don't go up. Them. Right. So, so I, I, I got on my uh, kick and, you know, I lost 35 pounds and it was, it took a year. I mean, it's not like it yeah. just falls off of you. Uh, this program here, the Muffin Top Meltdown is a, is a, a year from now, you will feel like you're a different person. You you will feel alive. I you. Yes, you will feel alive, and you will um, hopefully feel like you did, you know, when you were at the happiest point of your life. Yeah. Right. Whatever age that is for you, um, it, it it will work if you really want it to, and if you want to succeed, you need me to help you do that. All right. So enough enough okay. uh, on that. If you want to get started on it's real easy. Go to OurHealthyHomes.com, OurHealthyHomes.com. It's the website we've been yabbering on about now for five years. Mm -hmm. Go there. There's a pink button up in the upper right-hand corner. Click on the button. It'll take you to a landing page. You can put some contact information in there. There's information on that site, too. You can read through it. If it's uh, not right for you, which I can't imagine, only because <laughs> you don't want to. I mean, that's, right, right. that's the only reason. Because uh, it's cheap and it works. It's a 100% guaranteed. It works every single time. Uh, but it is, it's, it's work. not, it's not a quick fix. Right. It's not, it doesn't even work. People say, oh, that's a lot of work. No, nah, it really isn't. It, it isn't a lot of work at all. It's discipline. It is discipline, It takes some yes. discipline. You know, you can't discipline. just kind of do everything. Forget the milkshake in the morning. But yeah. other than that, it's not. Okay, sorry, Amy Nielsen. <laughs> so what we're, so this is our healthy home. So what we talk about is, you know, the four pillars of a healthy home. We talk about the real estate. We talk about the ecosystem. We talk about body and we talk about mind. What we're going to have a conversation on now in the next a few segments, a couple of segments, is we're going to talk about financial health, and we're going to approach it through insurance. Now, that sounds like a boring subject, but it's really I not. I trust you, it's not. It, and it is one of the most confusing things ever, mm -hmm. is knowing what kind of health insurance. I'm talking health insurance now, because nothing will devastate a house like a major health mm -hmm. event and and you don't have adequate protection or you don't have the right protection or you find out that you've been paying for protection for the last 10 years that you didn't <laughs> need you know which is a, a big deal no one likes to waste money yep uh, so amy has a, a a group lifestyle advisors why do you call it lifestyle advisors by the way lifestyle advisors mm -hmm. to help people get into their lifestyle Though that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, shocking. <laughs> a health plan to match their lifestyle. A health plan to match their lifestyle. And how did you, why did you get into this business? When did you get into it? Just a couple minutes of background. Sure, sure. So I started to be a, or I became a financial advisor. Okay. Went through the process series seven, I believe. Why didn't I know that already? That you were a financial, or are a financial advisor? Probably because I didn't go after you for your you money. Oh, jeez. <laughs> One of the few. <laughs> All right. So what I found in the whole process that no one was addressing the high cost of health care. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the advisor would say, just go out and get some insurance. And they'd come back and it would be a small fortune, even as much as a, a mortgage on a, maybe a cabin or something. Mm -hmm. So why spend all that money on, on things you may not be using, prepaying for health care you may never use. And so I decided to leave that and go into just looking at all of the health care plans, uh, medical cost sharing, self-insuring uh, insurance plans, and then, of course, bridging the gap to Medicare, which can get very expensive. And just and being confusing. creative. Right. Ugh. And what I find, most people don't even understand the plan that they currently have. So right. we'll first talk about what do you have, and then we can compare it to what other options might be out there. Of course, first we want to find out, you know, what risks do we want to protect? I think that people just have a tendency, I know it was for me, just I'll take all of the above. Just give me everything because I want to make sure I'm covered. I, you know, I got five <laughs> kids. 
you know, I can't afford to have some kind of a disaster. So give it all to me. At least there's, I know how much that costs. And then I can, you know, if I can deal with that, I'm going to do it. This is our Healthy Homes. We have to go out and take a break, pay some bills. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. This is our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. I'll say it real slowly for the people in Iowa, ourhealthyhomes.com, 651-775-9194. Give Sheila a ring-a-ling-a-ling. She'll get you pointed in the right direction. Okay, we're talking with Amy Nielsen, and we're talking about health insurance. It's one of the most riveting topics ever ever <laughs> spoken uh, about in the United States of America. But here's the deal. We are an aging population. Mm-hmm. Our health care insurance, our health care costs have gone, have gotten astronomical. I mean, they're just like out of control. And, and uh, health care is one of the reasons why we started this program, because Health and wellness is such a, it's a major uh, cloud, if you will, hanging over families. And it's constantly on people's minds. You know, their health, they're seeing their parents age and needing care. Uh, kids are needing care earlier and more often, more frequently than ever before. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you're sitting down with somebody <laughs> for the first time, you, you sit down with them. And, and I'm going to close up your notes here because I just want you to speak from the heart. <laughs> so you sit down with somebody. You're just you and me now. We're sitting down. We're talking. And, and I'm saying, you know, I got this a Blue Cross policy or, you know, whatever it is, health partners, whatever it is. And it costs me a fortune. Can you, can you look at this and help me, first of all, decipher it? Because I don't even know what's covered. And and then figure out for my family what's the best route forward. How do, just talk through that process and unfold that a little bit, unpack that. Sure. So first of all, understanding the program or the plan that you currently have, probably the most important thing is is your doctor important to you? Mm-hmm. Because insurance plans kind of dictate what doctor you can see, right? Uh-huh. Oh. So and then also, are there medicines? If you're under 65, the only way to really get a formulary is through... What's a formulary? Yeah. A formulary is a drug plan. Okay. Separate from a Medicare plan. It's kind of rolled into a traditional insurance plan when you're under 65. Mm-hmm. It's the formulary part. Um, so in order to get that, you would have to have insurance. If you use membership medical cost sharing, it doesn't include formularies. We use programs... Discount programs like GoodRx, Blink Health, okay. some of those other ones. GoodRx, you know, I got that card in the mail, a GoodRx card in the mail. I, I, we, we just talked about it the other day. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't know what why. is this thing? <laughs> you know, is it any good for anything or what is it? All it is is a coupon. Okay. So the card, you don't even really have to carry that around. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I know I've been to Hy-Vee before and showed them my GoodRx card, and then Hy-Vee has their own discount program. Okay. So it's really not that challenging to get medications, All right. whether you have a formulary or not. And oftentimes, oftentimes, especially in Medicare, I find people are paying more for their medicines in their formulary, in their Medicare plan, than they could if they just paid using a GoodRx coupon. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, so, the, the copay part of it? or, or, or Right, what? right. So let's say they're Tier one, tier two might be $10 or whatever their medicine might what's be. A t- what's a tier? So there's up to six tiers in a formulary. And again, we're talking about Medicare mostly right here. Okay. Um, so one and two are your generics, the very inexpensive, usually are free or $4. And then mm-hmm. three, you get into things like Eliquis, medicines, they tend to be $47. And then those are the ones that end up putting you into the gap. Okay. And then four and five get even more expensive. Five are the ones that are addictive, opiates and things oh, like okay. that, that you can have for just 30 days. Okay. Um, and you get a pres- prescription every 30 days. Okay. So so in order to get a formulary, uh, you would have to get an insurance plan. If you are self-insuring, then you can use, um, say, discount coupons um, or websites for that. So when I sit down with someone, find out what is important. Do you have any chronic issues? Do you have any um, pre-existing conditions in the past couple of years. How often do you go to the doctor? Do you like going to the doctor? Do you Mm -hmm. like (laughs) your doctor? Does anybody answer (laughs) yes, I like to go to the doctor? Oh my word. (laughs) You'd be surprised. There there are some. Um, So the question about the the doctor, 
you you had mentioned that most of their programs require them to go to a specific doctor, whereas these outside programs or what do you call cost sharing? Is that what you medical call cost sharing? Medical cost sharing programs, then they allow you to go where you want. Yes, but let me okay. clarify that. Okay. If you go to a health partners clinic, a Fairview clinic, these are corporation clinics, mm-hmm. and so the doctors in there Work do for not them. right do not have leeway to adjust their pricing so okay. much. But if you go to a clinic like say Burnsville Family Physicians mm-hmm. or you know an Ms. independent right mm-hmm. now you've got leverage, and usually uh, you could pay one hundred and fifty dollars for a visit. Uh, the doctor I go to, my first visit was one hundred and forty, and after that, it's a hundred. But the last time I went, I think I brought my son. He charged me fifty. Mm. So you get a whole different experience with an independent doctor, kind of like back in the seventies. You know, when you'd show up at the doctor's office and you'd, it would be a transaction. It wasn't so much show me your insurance card like it is today. So what? Tell me the difference. Is there a difference even between a HMO and insurance? You know, H and O and like a traditional Blue Cross Blue Shield insurance company what's the difference sure so insurance plans use networks and that's where that's what a HMO is or a PPO or a POS POS is point of sale uh, PPO is provider I gotta look at it exactly it's a larger provider, yeah. yeah network and then HMO is health maintenance organization so that's real small and so the way that works and this might be interesting for some of you out there you may find your doctor covered under ABC plan 123 but the same carrier in a different plan may not cover that same doctor in the same clinic. So that doctor could actually bill through an HMO, which means they're billing under the clinic name, mm-hmm. or they could bill under their name, mm-hmm. which would generally be a PPO situation, or they could maybe have another company and bill under that. So a provider can show up or not show up in oh. the same carrier, in different plans. So I'm mind boggled right now. <laughs> So you can see, <laughs> right? Exactly. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. So you can see why I'm like, I don't people wanna... get confused about right. all this because PPO, HMO, right? You know, insurance, you know, all that different ways, different structures apparently to do the same thing to 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 reach the same thing, and that is to provide a service and charge for it. Um, so I don't. What impacted the, like Obamacare? That, that was supposed to fix everything. So did it? Well, (laughs) if you do some research, you'll find out what that was really, really about. And I'm not going to say it here. Okay. But um, why not? uh, (laughs) Well, it has to do with trafficking. Okay. Okay. Um, But anyway, so that, I'm not exactly sure what, I mean, it really didn't, yeah, it didn't really help anybody financially. I haven't met a single person that said, boy, that Obamacare really helped me out. Yeah, really. I'm so much cheaper now. No. Right. What happened to us is as soon as they pass it, we had, we had a Blue Cross Aware Gold. Mm -hmm. Great policy. It was expensive. It was. You know, I'm not saying it wasn't. It was, it was was very expensive. Being self-employed. First dollar coverage. Oh, wow. You know, so, I mean, it was, very. It, you know, very expensive. But we had, like we said, we had five kids. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, but then, but then Obama here comes in, and then we go to renew the policy. And he said, oh, no, you can't do that. You can't do that anymore. It's like, what are you talking about? I've had this for 15 years. And now you're telling me I can't renew the mm-hmm. policy. Nope. It's, you know, it's only for whatever. Or it's going away or whatever it is. Okay. So then we, you know, it's, then the journey starts right. on, on mm-hmm. stuff. So then if you're like us, who tends to be all natural of everything, mm-hmm. I mean, we don't go, I mean, we don't go to the doctor. I haven't been to the doctor in years. We don't go to the doctor. We're not on any medications. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's. So it's like, well, you know, unless I get hit by a bus, that's what I want. I want mm-hmm. bus striking insurance <laughs> because. That's really, you know, for not, for me now, that's all I need. I'm perfectly healthy. We have mm-hmm. we neither one of us take any prescription medicines, mm-hmm. and then so which then is wait. I want to. That's a rarity, isn't it? I mean, you probably see it all the time of how many people take meds. Oh, I see like, the same ones all I the mean, time. I mean, at sixty and and seventy, you most people are on medications yes. at, at that age, in that age range, right? Absolutely, high blood pressure, cholesterol. 
course, a lot of people are on sleep apnea. That's not really a drug, but they do right. have the durable medical. And I just wanted to add one thing about the Obama care is that they did away with the pre-existing. You know how some people could be turned away because yeah. they had a... That's good. That went away. And yeah. I think that's maybe where I you, think we that's saw okay. some of the prices go up. Right. So then that. when you when you s- sit down with people and, you know, you s- mm-hmm. see all the medications and mm-hmm. everything... You you have also like not just the passion with this insurance like policy stuff. Mm-hmm. You really have a passion to give them and guide them with some other information that could maybe help them mm-hmm. get off their mm-hmm. meds or seek other things. Correct. Well, I'm not a doctor, right? So all I can say, Neither like, am I, <laughs> I was right? talking to this little old lady. I mean, she was probably your size, maybe a little smaller, and she was taking 10 medicines. And I finally said to her, I put my hand on her, I said, can your little body handle all of these? Yeah. She didn't know what to say. Let's start this Ningxia deal. What is that okay. what, what is that Ningxia thing? So we have a 14-day reset, and uh, it has been going on in the testing phases for over a year. And so we have rolled out the program, and it, it is what it is. It's a 14-day reset, so it's an awareness it is uh, 14 days to have you see some results in inflammation, pain, your diabetes numbers. Um, yes, there's weight, but so much of it more is fatigue and sleep. And now with the past year and a half of testing, we have the science behind it now that, that shows with all the... And what are some of the results that people are seeing from uh, Like 36% better... Um, in their sleeping, more energy, less stress, inches lost, um, clearer skin, better uh, mobility, uh, better blood work, um, and better glu- glucose levels. And there's more than that, depending mm-hmm. on what your what your thing is. Right. Um, and so perfectly to use with the muffin top meltdown. Yes, it is. Yeah. And what I am looking for is I have we call them kits. Yeah. And so I have four kits and I am looking for four people that want to join me in February because we're doing it once a month and it's the second week, the second Monday of every, of every month. Okay. Um, I, I did just want to mention one thing, especially with you here. Um, we have, I don't know if you've heard, but the amount of people that are taking Ozempic Mm. to lose weight Mm. um really i mean we've got a lot that are you probably have heard more but people are actually dying from Mm -hmm. that okay Mm. so if if you're really struggling with weight please please don't take that please have the discovery call with me because we don't need you to lose your life on natural over over wanting to lose a little bit of weight um and so reach out to me okay amy tell me your little old lady story Mm -hmm. okay here Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I sit, often sit down with people and they'll okay. have their pile sure. of pills. And yeah. in this particular cl- case, I was with an older woman. and um, In their I, home? Well, we were, we were at a venue. Her brother was there. Okay, she went, her, okay. okay. And, um, anyway. But yeah. you do sit in their home with Oh, her. absolutely. Yeah, okay, I'll sit okay. yeah, wherever. Okay. And I, I, I get to a point sometimes where I see I'm, I'm writing down, you know, 10, 12 medicines. And then they're... And why would you be writing those down? Well, because I have to look them up to match the plan oh, to make okay. sure that okay. they're getting the best price for gotcha. their medicines. Gotcha. And so gotcha. sometimes okay. I'll say, you know, it's do you really generic. need all of these? Yeah. Or medicines are really designed to be taken and then you not you're get cured and then you're, you're you're on your way. N- not a ongoing situation. So that's. So how receptive was this little old lady from Pasadena? <laughs> uh, there's really nothing. I don't. I don't even know if they know how to respond. Yeah. Or even if well, they hear me. An exa- example: the Sheila's mom was down, uh, oh, and yeah. uh, she's got her pills. You know that she takes in the morning, in yeah. midday, uh, afternoon, afternoon, lunch, and afternoon, then nighttime. nighttime. Mm-hmm. Oh and then so we're going through these pills, and it's like, well, what is this one? She has no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, they don't. She has no. absolutely no idea. She I just, ask. I just take this one. Because why? Well, because that's the one they tell me to take. What's mm-hmm. it do? I don't know. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even know the name of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, but she's swallowing them down, and, and there is a lot. Yeah. You know, there's a lot. She's probably taking 20-plus pills a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? when you add them all up. Yeah. Right. And it's ridiculous. So it's kind of like a detective work. I mean, you've got to really know what these people 
are taking and their 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 current health situation to be able to put them into a plan that's right for them. Right. Why would they go off of the plan they're on and go to you? To save money. Okay. Uh, better experience. Have a liaison to help them understand their plan. I often get phone calls just saying, um, what is this letter I got in the mail? Mm -hmm. Because they get so many letters. Some of them are official. A lot of them aren't, but they look official. And so to have someone to be able to call to say, yeah, you can throw that away. Um, But I just wanted to go back to that medicine. I was sitting next to someone who takes Losartan, and I said, you know, Losartan has a a lawsuit against it. And he's like, no. I'm like, just all you got to do is take a medicine and put the medicine name in and Google lawsuit or recall and see what comes up. And I think people are more afraid to leave the medicine Mm -hmm. that has these problems than to just go without it. Or they rather take they it. They just don't have they just don't have the knowledge or the guidance or or I don't know what it is to, to be seek able, out an alternative. To, yeah, ex- exactly. I often say, get a second opinion. Mm-hmm. You know, find another doctor. See if these and you know most important are how do all these medicines interact? Does your doctor understand how these medicines interact? Does your doctor know the difference between a natural disease and a drug disease? Because most people are drug diseased. Yes, I would agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, last, I, I, I'll just tell you a real s- short story. I, I met a woman about five years ago. She was just coming on to Medicare. She was perky and fun. <laughs> and I went to go visit her, and I, I sat and cried um, because she had a pile of pills. And when you go to the hospital, they fill your prescription, but they give you a giant bottle. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but But she couldn't hold her mouth closed. She was shaking. She had no emotion. She was just sitting there. And I said, this is... um that Sheila in the morning before her nature <laughs> <laughs> takes is, a shot of nature yeah, yeah, and right, just right. comes right around. <laughs> just like that. Right. There's so zing. this is five years, five years from the time from, you first met her until until now. Yeah. Now she can't hold her mouth shut, and it's she just has a plethora of of problems. And she had been in the hospital. I had went to go see her because we wanted to find a plan that had better hospital. So where do where do your people come from? Oftentimes, referrals. I'm on the Mincher website, my website. Um, uh, just being Sounds out and like about. It, yeah. yeah, being out and about. Okay, so what is the deal with the ads are, um, I mean, the ads have been running. It seems like they never stop running. Uh, the, the time, the deadlines come and the deadlines come and what's deadline are they talking about? Well, they may now be talking about the open enrollment. Open enrollment, that's what it is. Right. So this is the enrollment for Medicare Advantage plans. So people with a Medicare Advantage plan can make one change to another Medicare Advantage plan between now, January 1st, and March 31st. That's the only thing that can really be done. Okay. Between? Mar- uh, I'm sorry. January 1st and March 31st. So you got a three-month period. Okay. If someone's unhappy with their Medicare Advantage plan, they can go to another. Okay, so Advantage but they run plan. these ads year round, right? I mean, it oh, says that's what's mi- confusing. It's like, oh, was a date coming up? Am I supposed to be doing something? <laughs> 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 Might be a <laughs> yeah. special enrollment. Yeah. Um, another one: people can move from their Advantage plan to a five-star plan anytime. What's a five-star? Yeah, plan? right. Uh, rated by the members in that plan of being super duper, super duper good. Okay. Yeah. So I was, I was, I think I was happy when you turned 65. You might not have, but I was so excited because he could go on Medicare mm-hmm. and then I could get off that, that costly insurance we had mm-hmm. and go on to um, what you, ha- what mm-hmm. you provide, right? Mm-hmm. The cost share thing. All right. So I, we, at the time, you know, we were paying for the insurance, but then I was also paying for my naturopath and things like that. That's what kills me. Is that right. The, I was paying. The stuff that we use isn't covered. Right. Mm-hmm. right. You know? All the naturopath and all that stuff that I did wasn't covered. Mm-hmm. And so we, we went to Liberty Share because a friend, right, mm-hmm. told me about mm-hmm. this Liberty Share. Okay. So I've been paying, I don't know, $400 a month for, I don't know, well, five for nothing. years. Right. For nothing. And, and I don't go to the doctor. I mean, I think I've gone twice and, and I understand that with that, I pay out of pocket. 
is that how all of the your cost share plans are is that you pay out of pocket when you go visit the doctor or no well it depends um, cost sharing plans really cover that major medical event, the unforeseen illness, injury, accident diagnosis. Now you can pair that with a relationship with a doctor, or you can pair it with telehealth, or you could even buy a copay plan to pair with that. So you can really design your own health plan with a, that in a mind. A copay plan is, is you're talking about a what? What, well, is, so, a, what is that? Yep. A copay plan. Okay. So for example. Uh, there's a plan out there, let's say Sidera is a major med- or a membership cost sharing plan that only covers, say, a hospitalization type of situation. Okay. Right. Okay. And then you can pair that with an HSA plan, which means you can pay an extra $129 a month, and that will cover your annual exam, and it makes your plan HSA eligible. Or you could spend a little bit more, and don't quote me on the prices, and buy a copay plan, and what that does, again, that That is for your acute care, for your day-to-day stuff. So you can buy a plan to help you pay for your day-to-day. And usually you're paying to get three visits for 60 bucks. And then if you go beyond three visits, then you're going to be paying more. Same thing. If you don't go to the doctor, it's just like, why do it? Right. Yeah. This is Our Healthy Homes, ourhealthyhomes.com. During the break, I just found out I was paying too much for my insurance as I showed her my card and she said oh my god fell off the chair I had to get up and put it back on the chair okay with that though All right. I mean it's confusing in general yeah. like you know like oh my gosh right so here you go you're on Medicare mm-hmm. well like I didn't know that you could take like you Amy could take Medicare and do something with that I you know thought right. that there was like you were on Medicare you were on Medicare like you know, so I don't care what you're on. Like, it's probably to your best advantage to give Amy a call to find out, you know, what you're on, why you're on it, answer your questions, and you get get straightened out. Now, lifestyle-advisors.com. Yep. Okay. Right. So back to the segment that I was talking about. All right. Me, it's not about me, but so it's I. About you. <laughs> no, it isn't. So I was on, so I was on Liberty Share, and mm-hmm. I think I was paying like four hundred a month or whatever. Mm-hmm. So sitting down with Amy, which I got to say, um, you made it like so easy. I mean, she helped me on the like all the things, right? And so now I'm at one sixty, mm-hmm. right? And I still have all my major stuff, you know, hit by the bus, mm-hmm. you know, all the things. So it is worth having a conversation, I do have to say. Even if you are confused and you just want clarity, your passion is for people. Or stay on their plan, if their plan makes sense. Yeah, stay put. Absolutely. Yeah. But But you you could probably answer some questions about their plan that they don't know about. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take much to save. When you're talking $100, $200, $300 a month, you know, that's a few thousand bucks a year that you could just well have in your pocket is to give it to... An insurance company, especially with the um, the seniors, right? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, over fifty or whatever, as you're mm-hmm. getting closer and closer and closer to retirement, you know, you're you're if you're going to stop working or whatever, your window of needing to budget might. That's why I keep telling Sheila, I said we're on a fixed income, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be careful here, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So. Um, so pay attention to that. And again, even worth it just to have, you know, a conversation because I'm excited that we're saving a few bucks now. And now look at you. Okay. So now tell me how these cost sharing plans differ from uh, like traditional insurance. What's, explain that if you can. Sure. In, in, to a third grader. (laughs) To a third grader? Yeah, like dumb it down to us yeah, because, you know, we don't grade. understand all that well, insurance I, lingo. I, I created a worksheet oh. because visual aids are helpful. All right. And then I also want to write in actual numbers so people can actually really see what they're sp- currently spending to what they could be spending. Okay. And so the difference between cost sharing or membership medical plans and traditional health insurance, first of all, number one thing is different terminology. Mm. Same thing, different terminology. Oh, if we see, use, that's confusing right there. Yeah. We can't use the same terminology, then it would be deemed insurance, and then we'd have to follow all the insurance rules. Okay. You can enroll in a medical cost sharing or membership cost sharing plan any time of the year. Are they, like, legitimate? I mean, they uh, do they actually, or, or is it a scam, <laughs> like a Ponzi scheme deal? 
Well, the history of insurance is, is actually a mutual insurance company where, say, a bunch of farmers got together and said, hey, all us farmers, let's put in money, and if someone's barn burns down, we will... Have money. We to will pay build it up. So, so insurance companies started this way. Okay. Then they became corporatized and monetized and profitized. Profitized. Okay. Um, so the membership cost sharing still holds that traditional. So it's a nonprofit. Right. It's a nonprofit. As a matter okay. of fact, um, we don't have contracts. We have guidelines, like mm-hmm. a membership guideline, like going to the gym. Follow these guidelines, and we'll share in your medical expenses. And then some plans can either accumulate medical needs or it's based on a per need situation. In other words, your out of pocket could accumulate for all these little things or you're paying an out of pocket for one event, illness, an injury, an accident, or a diagnosis. So some of these I know were Christian based organizations. And then they actually, you know, are you a Christian? You had to, you, had to, you know, take the pledge before they would uh, insur- <laughs> cover you or let you join their plan, which is, it's an affinity group, and I get it that they that, that they want to do that. But there was n- nobody came with a camera to see that you went to church on the weekend. You just had to say, yep, 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 and then you're in. W- was there a reason for that? Or True. So there are... A, a few different types, religion, lifestyle, and association to be in a membership. Okay. So in order for us to have a group rate mm-hmm. pricing, we have to be some type of organization. And that organization can be a group of people that have believe in a religious uh, verses mm-hmm. or they uh, believe in a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. That's the one I'm in. Okay. Lead a healthy lifestyle. Don't break the law. Real estate agent lifestyle. Is that, com- is that, <laughs> that covered? <would> <laughs> That would fit. Or okay. association. There's another one um, for by association. If you're a part of a co-op, uh-huh. you can join our m- membership group. Oh. So so there are different. So are there are like are there like lots of these membership groups in that covers every little nuance of life, that, so that somebody will always fit. Um. Well, I'm not exactly sure how to answer that question. Um, can you? What's the question again? Well, I'm just saying if it's an association, if you have to be, you know, either to fit into a pigeonhole to belong to a group, then, well, that's easy. Just make a lot of groups so that everybody will eventually fit into one. And then you have one common back end that's kind of running the deal. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that's how I do it in my own mind. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's see. There's Sidera's lifestyle. Zion is lifestyle. um, MediShare is Christian. What's lifestyle? Explain lifestyle to me. That's not in other the words, broadest one you can. We agree to not do things that are harmful to our health. Okay. We don't do risky behavior, you know, okay. things like... No skydiving. Well, you can go skydiving. Well, <laughs> okay. That's risky. But if you're... No smoking, climbing, no fr- like snow no fr- smoking, fr- like, you know... I, you can we, smoke. They're going to... Okay. The religious ones may no not... No smoking. Yeah. Will re- yeah. Accept you. Yeah. Mennonites, I think. Yeah. No uh, okay, so now... What things can't you do? Maybe it's easier. Yeah, right. There you Because I've, I've thrown out the ones I thought you uh, okay. couldn't do. And <laughs> you break the law and okay. get hurt, okay. we're not going to share your medical expenses. Wait, say oh. that again. Say so that if again. You break, if, you, if you rob a bank and get shot, we're not going to oh. cover your... Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. What if you get shot while well, you're protecting somebody because a robber was robbing the liquor That's store? different. Okay, you're just going to... That's give me, good. Give me a twist. Yeah, no. yeah. Right. As long as you're innocent. Okay. There you go. There you go. All right. right. You gotta dig down deeper. Okay. So that was one. Mm-hmm. One what? Well, you wanted to know what you couldn't do. No, I get the picture. I mean, yeah. pe- people get the okay. picture. That I think it's like, okay. don't do anything reckless. And that that most people would consider mm-hmm. go- living that lifestyle is abnormal behavior. Right. So you're doing abnormal behavior here. Yes. Uh, sketching down the street hanging onto a car yeah first of all it's illegal mm-hmm. so you're out there so do you realize son if you're hanging onto the car sliding in the snow and you get hurt you're not covered that's a problem mm-hmm. where traditional insurance would cover you even though you're stupid mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> well and i would also like to say pre-existing conditions make a difference for me- membership cost sharing plans so if someone has a let's say, a kidney stone last year. Mm-hmm. Anything having to do with the kidney would not be shareable in the first year, and then they would vest into the community. The second year, 
the community would share up to 25000 for that kidney. Okay. Then 50000 then unlimited in the fourth So year. you can't come in sick and expect people to, you know, day one. Exactly. To share in your stuff that... that uh, right. Or, you're, or you've run out of... You've run out of... Uh, room on your <laughs> traditional medical insurance they've just said we're not paying anymore because that happens mm-hmm. you know you're out you've 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 hit your max mm-hmm. it's like well i'll just go to a cost sharing thing then it doesn't work that way mm-hmm. is there anything that pre-existing that you you can't come in with like we just can't take you ever right well those would be things like what medicare takes the ersd people are on dialysis and you know, serious chronic conditions. So you still could through the Medicare. Or Medicaid. But they just, they wouldn't share your expenses. Oh, oh, got it. Got now, it. now, pre-existing conditions that aren't considered pre-existing, sleep apnea, high cholesterol. Um, or what about wait, diabetes? Uh, I'm sorry, high blood pressure, non-insulin diabetes, and high cholesterol, like high pressure. But yeah, those four. Did that sound? Yeah. Did I give you the you four? You can come in with those four. Yes, you can come in with those four, and they'll they'll share. They don't consider them pre-existing because they're being managed. Mm-hmm. Those okay. things are very okay. managed very okay. well. Okay, so I'm I, I, families. Are there many families that go this route, or is it just like you know individuals? People, yeah, individuals are older. Well, def- definitely families. Um, businesses are turning to this. Small businesses, even a business of one employee, or maybe you have two, can do medical cost sharing and save quite a bit of money so and and the cool thing about um families is you can have one kid or 10 kids it's the same family price ah okay so now i'm going to go back to the the exclusions or whatever whatever so i have a family and i have one person one child that's type one Mm -hmm. okay how how would that work so an option i would suggest if the family is in Minnesota, there's a company called Primacare Direct. If you go out to that uh, website, you'll see a bunch of independent clinics where you could actually sign up just one member of the family for $75 a month that they can go to that clinic as often yeah. as they needed mm-hmm. to. So you don't have to get a gold plan for the whole family. You could actually mitigate a lot of those acute problems by going to a clinic. I think the lesson that we're learning here is... <laughs> Don't That's just confusing. call your local HMO and and write right. a check. You know, you right. really should sit down and uh, speak with someone. Lifestyle-advisors.com. Lifestyle-advisors.com. Um, you got a phone number you want out? Sure. 952-210-9456. Perfect. This is Our Healthy wow. Homes. Ourhealthyhomes.com. Boom. That's the end like of the that. show. We'll see you next week. Thank you. <laughs> But when he calls me sugar, I love that man with all my might. Sugar in the morning, sugar in the afternoon. Tell him, honey, you can call me sugar.